I just wanna ride my way, ride my way. I wanna chill and smoke this road, and I smoke. I already know I'm dope. I'm dope. Wanna flow my boat. What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Welcome back. Today we're gonna be watching a video called "Shower Thoughts That Blow My Mind." So it should be should be more than interesting. More than interesting. Without any further ado, let's get into it. Like, when you scratch something out of your notes, you're just noting to yourself that that note no longer needs to be noted. And like, why do horrible and horrific mean the same thing, but terrible and terrific mean the opposite? To make matters worse, the phrase this blows and this sucks are both opposite and identical at the same time. Mm -hmm. A lot of our phrases don't even make that much sense to begin with. Slow and steady wins the race works for a lot of things actually, but the one thing it doesn't actually work in is in an actual race. <laughs> Being on thin ice with someone is mostly a bad thing. Well, that depends. Because slow and steady wins the race. There's not just one form of racing. So, I mean, it's not that weird. <laughs> Being on thin ice with someone is mostly a bad thing, but breaking the ice is usually a good thing? People usually put gone but not forgotten on their tombstones, but for most people, after like three or four generations, that's really just not true at all. If anything is possible, then isn't it possible that some things are impossible? This is a really disappointing video. This is not as funny as I thought. Like, I thought this was going to be like, Funny things where I'm just like, oh, I didn't think of that. But I like, there's nothing. So far, nothing is, there were only 40s. Damn, this thing is like almost 10 minutes long. We're only 47 seconds in. Bro, you better start getting to some real shit that blows my mind. School. In the same way, I guess, when people say we're not perfect, doesn't that make us perfect at not being perfect? I'm just gonna confuse myself if I keep going. Why do we have fingertips but not toe tips? Like we can tiptoe but we can't finger tip? You also don't really know how the word red is red, unless it's red. And the more I light my lighter, the lighter my lighter gets until it's too light to light. The word separate is written all together, but the words all together are written separately. This isn't what I wanted it to be! <laughs> I wanted some type of shit where it's like, hits the blunt, and then all of a sudden you have like some crazy weird thought. This is not what I thought it'd be. And I'm, 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 I'm upset. <laughs> I'm, I'm upset. I'm not happy about it. This shit takes time to go through and set things up and record. It takes time. So we're gonna watch more of it, damn it. You, we're gonna struggle through this together. Extraordinary and extraordinary are antonyms. You know, it's crazy what a single space can do. But remember, every single time you press the space bar, there are six million other people pressing it at the same exact time as you are. Speaking of space, in the last Shower Thoughts video, I mentioned reality television. I just hit space bar. So there's, how many say? Six million? You say six million? There's six million other people? Space. And time you press the space bar, there are six million other people pressing it at the same exact time as you are. Speaking of space. Six million. 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 Okay, I'm done. Check this too, and yeah, it still sucks. But don't you think a really good show would be flying flat earthers into space and watching them react to it? Sure, it'd be expensive now, but in like 20 years, maybe not so much. If you made it to space, congratulations. We talked about that before. That's been an ongoing idea ever since flat earthers thought it was a good idea to be a flat earther. People have been like, send them to space! Send them up there! Let them see it! Because that shit would be hilarious. It still sucks. But don't you think a really good show would be flying flat earthers into space and watching them react to it? Sure, it'd be expensive now, but in like 20 years, maybe not so much. If you made it to space, congratulations. You're casually floating around in the void. Now if you just randomly started peeing, you would actually cause an acceleration. It worked the same way that a rocket. Hold on, I missed that. 
I missed everything. If you made it to space, congratulations. You're casually floating around in the void. Now, if you just randomly started peeing, mm. you would actually cause an acceleration. Yep. It worked the same way that a rocket does. This wouldn't work if you're dehydrated. Hey, that's pretty cool stuff, though. When you really start thinking about it, that's pretty badass stuff. So, you drink your water. But even then, we don't buy water. We rent it. We use it, then return it. It's cleaned and then sold back to you again. The life is crazy. In other water-related news, fire trucks are just water. It's so true. Life is crazy. In other... All the water we use... We're just, we're paying to drink the same water over and over. So we're, it's like buying something you already own, but lots of times. <laughs> oh, the water we rent it we use it then return it it's cleaned and then sold back to you again the life is crazy in other water related news fire trucks are just water trucks you know shout out to water through condensation and precipitation for almost four billion years it's been traveling all around and throughout the planet only to end up in my shower and we have to pay for it even though it oh, excuse me <laughs> Water is rather abundant. You know the deal by now. These are shower thoughts. Uh huh. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ah ha ha. Ah, so smart. Oh, I like the pun. Shower thoughts. I like it. You know, because he went to the whole. Oh, uh, ends up right here in the shower. La la. Real funny. Where on earth are you going? I thought I'd go out and pick up our- I don't sister. like ads! These days, even a short trip can seem like a big deal. Things have changed a lot of- They just tell me that an old man walking with a cane? So you- you tell me the short trips that seem like a big deal. The image you want us to see with that wording is an old man with a cane. Bro, it's been hard for any old person in the history of ever to make any trip when they start getting that old. The but, dude, social media is getting weird. For the course of history, there are people alive in their 90s that were born before the world's population. Speaking of old people, what the hell? <laughs> Here we go, we're going at old people, I guess. The ad set it up. It set it up. Things have changed a lot over the course of history. There are people alive in their 90s that were born before the world's population hit 2 billion. When the world's oldest person... Really? What? No way. Are you from... I gotta Google that real quick. Hold up. Uh, what was the popular... I want to see what the population was when I was born then. What was... There's... Uh, the population... Nineteen ninety two. Hey, that was still like five, five and a half billion people. So about nineteen ninety. Hey, you're wrong, bro. Nah, you you wrong. I mean, nineteen ninety alone. Nineteen ninety alone. Come on, focus, focus. Nineteen ninety alone had what's the? Oh my. So, uh, I think you wrong, bro. I think you're like really, really wrong. <laughs> Things have changed a lot over the course of history. There are people alive in their 90s that were born before the world's population hit 2 billion. Oh, alive in their 90s. Yeah, I just had the worst blonde moment. Wow. <laughs> roast me in the comments for that. Roast me in the comments for it. If you don't roast me, then you suck. 
When the world's oldest person, Kane Tanaka, was born 117 years ago, the global population was just 1.6 billion. In just one person's life, we've gone from 1.6 to 8 billion. Hey, that's crazy. Countries are constantly changing. The majority of superpower countries in the world have been around for thousands of years, and most of the cities in the world are probably older than the countries they're in. If you're 25, you've been alive for over 10% of the United States' history. That's kind of insane when you think about the position the country has gone through over the past 250 years. The good, the bad, and even the ugly. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe a lot of ugly. Anyway, you know, they say it takes 10,000 hours to master a skill. I don't... You know, I don't know what to think of this video because it's still not anything like what I WANTED IT TO BE! <laughs> but I've been alive for way more than 10,000 hours, and I've yet to master the skill of life. When you're a kid, you think adults somehow know everything and have their lives together. But once you grow up, you realize that many people genuinely have absolutely no clue what they're doing sometimes. You know, I, I, I was having a conversation about this with my mom just the other day. Literally exactly about this, about how funny it is when you're a kid. You think that adults just have it all together, but then when you get older, you realize that adults are just other humans fucking up all the time. <laughs> all the time. They're just winging it. Just winging it. Also, when growing up, you realize how absurd daily life is. We pay the zoo to look at a bunch of stolen property. Most of us have dead bodies in our freezers, and your lap only really exists when you're sitting. When you stand up, it just becomes your legs again. I don't make the rules, okay? Oh, that, okay, that's stupid. That's not even funny. Then I'm over it. I'm done. I'm done. Done with the video. Over it. 11, 12 minutes of my life. Gone. <laughs> Gone. Never to return again. It's all gone. So, if it was worth it to you guys and you enjoyed the video, give it a like. Leave a comment down below. Roast me in the comment section over my blonde moment. That was a real dumb one. That was a heavy one to take. That was a heavy one to take, and I'm still going to post this. I'm still going to post it, even with the fuck up in there. So, you should really give it a like. And like, leave a comment, and maybe subscribe. You know, really help me out. Anyways, love you guys. I'm out of here. Bye. I just want to ride my way. Ride my way. want to chill and smoke this road. And I smoke. I already know I'm dope. I'm dope. want to float my boat.